Hey guys, what's up? JD from JD Tech TV here, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the Aoki KMG3 RGB mechanical keyboard. Typically, when you see mechanical keyboards, especially RGB ones, they tend to be around the $100 price range and can easily get into the $200 price range. This Aoki keyboard is significantly less in price, and I'll go ahead and put the link in the description down below. Click on the link and you'll get the most up-to-date pricing information from Amazon. With the Aoki KMG3 being so much cheaper than the other competition out there, it begs the question, is it any good? Well, that's what we're here to find out in this review. Let's go. So if you've never used a mechanical keyboard, or let alone even heard of one, there's a lot of differences between mechanical keyboards and the typical membrane keyboards that you see pretty much everywhere. Membrane keyboards make up about 90% of the keyboard market currently. So what's the difference? Well, to give a way too simplistic overview of the two, the first sign is membrane keyboard keystrokes tend to be really quiet. That's due to the sunken key switches underneath the keys and the rubber membrane that fits over them hence the name. Now there's a lot of reasons for that, and one of them is so the profile of the keyboard can be slimmer and sleeker. Mechanical keyboards have protruding spring-loaded switches that make a loud clicking sound similar to an old-school typewriter and gives you a more overall responsive feel when you're typing. Mechanical keyboards have been known for adding RGB lights to them for some added flair and style as well. But like I said, that's an overly simplistic summary of the differences between the two types of keyboards. There are so many differences, but that's basically what you need to know to start out. Okay, so now that we're over the newbie section, let's get into the good stuff. First, the look of the KMG3 offers a cool brushed metal backplate design with black keys. The switches are Otimo. Otimo? Otimo. Out, how do you, how do you say that? Otimo, that, however you say that, that thing. I think I'm gonna say Otimo. Anyway, the Altimu blue switches are nearly identical to Cherry MX blue switches in their construction, sound, and tactile feedback. There are RGB LED lights admitted from the switches underneath the keys, which has five programmable lighting configurations, seven colors, and ten preset lighting effects. You can cycle through the options using the function button with the M1 and M2 button. I'll go over more on that later. On the back side, you have rubber pads so you don't scratch up the surface of your desk, and the two feet kick out to elevate the keyboard to a higher angle. I really like the look and style of the Aoki KMG3, and its customization makes it perfect for any desk setup. Now, because mechanical keyboards are pretty clicky in their sound, it's really important to do a sound test in these types of videos so you can see exactly how loud it would be whenever you're typing. I initially didn't get a mechanical keyboard for a long time because of its loud clicking sound. But after pulling the trigger and realizing how satisfying the feedback is from each keystroke and the overall experience of using one, I will never go back. So here's how the Atom and Blue switches sound. So keep in mind that there are different switches that offer different feedback from each key. These Atomu Blue switches are about as loud as switches come. So if you didn't think that these switches were really all that loud, then just know that the sound level only goes down from here. But with the sound comes a more satisfying click and feedback from each key. There are springs underneath each switch, which helps you feel more in control of the pressure applied to each key. It makes it easier to type faster and you rely less on looking at the keyboard while typing. But not looking at this keyboard is pretty difficult considering how beautiful the RGB lights are on this thing. You can customize the color configuration to fit any style or desk setup and it's always a head turner. To adjust the lighting options you just have to hold the function button and then click the M1 button. You have this gaming option that lights up the WASD buttons and other lights typically used in PC gaming. A gentle fade between each color option which I typically choose this option the most. An option where only the keys light up that you type. A sort of rolling option where the colors sort of wave across the keyboard. 
an option where the colors snake up and down on their own. An explosion option where colors spread out from where you type. An option that just lights up the surrounding keys from where you type. A sort of rainbow pan of all the colors across the keyboard. A solid color option which you can press the function and M2 button to change the colors. A slow pulsating option where you can change the colors of it as well. And lastly, you have the option to turn the colors off entirely by pressing the function button and the print screen button. With this keyboard's price coming in at around $65 currently, it is by far the most affordable mechanical keyboard on the market. But its lower price doesn't mean that it isn't any good. It has nearly all of the perks of the higher $200 mechanical keyboards that you'll see floating around, and this one is at a fraction of the price. In fact, the Aoki KMG3 has become my daily driver, and I couldn't be happier with it. This can serve as a great entry-level mechanical keyboard for someone who has never owned one, or a great option for anyone to switch to who are experienced with mechanical keyboards. Overall, the Aoki KMG3 is an absolute steal at this price. And as I said before, it's so good that it's actually become the keyboard that I use every day. It's become my daily driver, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching another review on JD Tech TV. And if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, while you're down there, click that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you can become a part of the notification squad. That way you can get notifications and know up to the second when one of my new videos goes live. And lastly, leave a comment down below. I'm really active in the comment section. It's actually one of my favorite things about doing these YouTube videos. I love talking to you guys. So if you guys do comment, I will always respond. So I'll see you guys down there and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.